The hardest thing about making YouTube videos is that when one flops, I'm completely responsible. But today I'm gonna let an AI chat bot write a YouTube video for me. I'm gonna post it, let time run for a week, show you guys the results and see if any of you noticed that it was AI. And secondly, let's see if it performed worse or better than my normal videos. If it performs better than my normal videos, then I may have a new boss. I'm gonna make the prompt very broad to try to make this sound like it's not a real human voice speaking this. But then I'm gonna take the word for word script and try to humanize it through my video making. So here's the prompt. Can you make me a YouTube shorts script? I want this one to go viral and I want the script to be about traditional archery. Use your creativity please and make it a banger video. And here's the result, not only a script, but shots that I'm supposed to get. Camera opens with slow motion shot of an arrow being knocked. The script starts, traditional archery is more than just shooting an arrow. It's connecting to centuries of history. Cut to a shot of the arrow being drawn back slowly. Forget the gadgets, the sights, the releases. It's just you, the bow and pure instinct. The arrow is released in slow motion, flying towards the target. Every shot is a test of skill, patience, and focus. It's not about perfection, it's about challenge. Arrow hits the bullseye. Quick cut to a dramatic close-up of the bow and arrow. Seems out of sequence. Long bows, recurve bows, these are tools of legends. From medieval warriors to modern archers, it's the rarest form of archery. That's true. Final shot. The archer walks away as the camera zooms into the target. Arrows scattered in a tight group. Traditional archery, no shortcuts, no skill. Oh, I read that wrong. <laughs> Traditional archery, no shortcuts, just skill. Text on screen, ready to embrace the challenge. All right, so that's our prompt. That's our script, let's go make it. So I think we need to make it dramatic. I don't know if you've played around with this stuff, but it is creepily personal now. There's a little footnote after the script that says, this script leans into the mystique and primal challenge of traditional archery, emphasizing its timeless appeal to capture attention and to go viral. It's short, engaging, and packed with visuals that will help make it a, in quotes, banger video. I hope it's right. So I will follow the script to a T, but I may have some creative freedom with the shots that I add. And actually, I just had the idea to make two versions. Let's make one version where I do the exact shot list and exact script. And then the second version, let's do where I add some of my own shots to the shot list. And then we'll choose which one's best and I'll post that one. But first I need to choose a bow that would fit this video. And I think this one, the, the Hunger Games replica would, would be decent, but I almost want to use the Marvel bow replica. I think I want to use this one today, just because I haven't shot it in a little while. Yeah, talking about the mystique of archery. Okay, I need to find a bowstring from the bowstring wall. Wow, that's perfect right off the bat, plus with the nice color to match it. The camera opens slow motion of an arrow being knocked. I'm going to use this really cool turkey feather fletching arrow, wooden, dark stain. I think it'll match this aesthetic. For a knocking point, I want to use something that kind of looks older. So I'm going to try this nylon thread. Now the reason I'm putting so much detail on the knocking point is because of that first opening shot. We want to be really good and it's going to be a really tight, tight close up. And if we can give it as much character as possible, I imagine that would be best. I'm not going to tune the bow right now, although because I've done this hundreds of times. I'm going to be pretty close with this first knot. I'm going to just serve this nylon like it's serving material and make it a little bit longer than a typical knocking point would be. Back over the top. <laughs> that ended that been perfect. Cinch it tight. Yeah, that looks nice. 
maybe even leave the tag end. One of my annoyances with making archery videos is that I'm in town, there's a bunch of other businesses around me, there's a lot of noise going on, and I feel like a scene like this would be fantastic if I were out in the woods, but that's at least an hour drive. Not for long though, something's happening soon. But to get this feel, I feel like I should dress up in a flannel and be out in the woods. Lesson number one, do the best with what you have and then always be grateful for what you have. In the last touch, let's do an archery glove. All right, I have you on a 50 millimeter prime. We're switching to vertical and let's do a, a tight shot now. I was gonna knock it here, but I want a little more contrast in the lights. I'm having a couple issues, primarily that the macro is not autofocus, that the manual focus it and then keeping it within like the, uh, the inch or two of focus is difficult. I think if I put it here, in the vise and then I knock the arrow on, it'll, it'll look a little bit better. And uh, orientation with the background super blurry, you guys don't even know how, how the bow's sitting hopefully, so we'll see. Okay, so if I were holding it like this, I would be knocking it like this. All right, slow-mo is active and let's go. Now I think I wanna stand over here to black it out maybe. Nah, that doesn't look good. Okay, in the backdrop here, I'm going to place a sound blanket. There we go. All right, let's try it again. Knock it on. Okay, last angle. Nexus has cut to a shot of the arrow being drawn back slowly. I can pretty much do this in slow motion. Okay, here we're gonna go all the way to 1.4. Make it feel like I'm not in a garage. Next, it says the arrow is released in slow motion flying towards the target. We can do that. So I'll do one on my face first. Wow, I forgot how good this bow shoots. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I expect this one to look better. I, I'm doing 100 millimeters now and then I'll also um, make more stuff in focus and uh, fixed focus now. And so generally the arrow looks best in this scenario. Let's see how it turns out. Next, this says arrow hits the bullseye. So I'm gonna cheat this shot and shoot it from a couple feet away. That, that was a joke. Well, that's still terrible. There it is. So interesting, next it says do a quick cut to a close up of the bow and arrow, but I just shot the arrow. So maybe it's bow and arrow independently. Okay, handheld, let's go manual focus now. Get more of that fletching, but you can see. Okay. Nice. Quick close up of the bow like I just shot. Maybe even a shot like this. Always be decent to add. Sorry guys, I don't mean to bore you with the video making. You can just skip to the video at the end if you'd like to. But I should have said that sooner because now we only have one shot left. The final shot is the archer walks away as the camera zooms in on the target. Arrows are scattered in a tight group. Issue number one is I don't have a cameraman. So that zoom is gonna need to be digital rather than in camera. Well, unless I walk away and then zoom in and cut it in post or I uh, do a, a mask with a split screen anyway. Okay, first the fletching is too dark to see. So let's add some green ones. Okay, I swapped to a zoom lens. It's not close enough. First, I'm gonna lock off the target where it looks just uh, decent. Let's go right there. Okay, we'll hold it steady here. I'll take one last shot over here in frame. I'll turn around, I'll walk off. I'll come over here, zoom in, and then I'll mask and split the screen later in post. So I think I can stand basically right here. This is the furthest I can go. So let's try it. Now for the steady zoom. 
Okay, I think that worked. The last thing we need to do today is go do the voiceover. Traditional archery. It's more than just shooting an arrow. It's connecting to centuries of history. Forget the gadgets, the sights, the releases. It's just you, the bow, and Pierre. No shortcuts, just skill. Archery. All right, I'm gonna edit, post, wait a week, and I'll see you then. Traditional archery. It's more than just shooting an arrow. It's connecting to centuries of history. Forget the gadgets, the sights, the releases. It's just you, the bow, and pure instinct. Every shot is a test of skill, patience, and focus. It's not about perfection. It's about the challenge. Long bows, recurve bows. These are the tools of legends. From medieval warriors to modern archers. It's the rost form of mastery. Traditional archery. No shortcuts just skill. I think to make this version work, it would have been much better to be outside and we kind of needed more to look at. It would, it's just, I don't know, kind of boring. But also the script isn't my favorite, so I'm gonna try to spice it up. And that's exactly what I did with this next video. I was like, how can I make this interesting? So I just brought in some stock footage. I brought, I made, I brought in some more clips that I shot and I tried to make this more interesting. So here's the second version. Uh, with music and sound effects and everything else. Traditional archery. It's more than just shooting an arrow. It's connecting to centuries of history. Forget the gadgets, the sights, the releases. It's just you, the bow, and pure instinct. Every shot is a test of skill, patience, and focus. It's not about perfection. It's about the challenge. Long bows, recurve bows. These are the tools of legends. From medieval warriors to modern archers. It's the rost form of mastery. Traditional archery, no shortcuts, just skill. Okay, so that's the video. It kind of, to me, it feels cold, heartless in a sense. I tried to make it interesting. I tried to change the music and make it uncomfortable when I'm talking about the gadgets and stuff and then slow it back down and change the pace to keep audience retention higher. I feel like the problem here is that it's, it's, it's promoting traditional archery in a way and with words that I don't think motivates people. I don't think this is plucking the heartstring of why people want to shoot traditional archery. I think for most of us, there's a different why than what this AI was going after, but we went with it because the test is to see if it will do better than my normal video. So I'm going to go ahead and check on YouTube how it went. Now, I said I was going to wait a week, but I'm just going to go ahead and check after 48 hours because after that first initial two days, it's generally set the tone for that video and it'll just steadily climb like that. There are a couple videos that won't get views for weeks or months and then take off oddly, so maybe this one could be that, but we'll see right now how it's doing compared to the others. And again, I have not pulled this up at all. I have not taken a look at this. Okay, so it's a seven out of 10. It is 12,000 views and 76% um, viewed, which is terrible. I've had over 100% viewed on my better ones. There you go. It's not my worst video, but it's not it's it's not one of the best either. I don't think I'll be using this method to make very many videos. This is great. I'm checking the comments now, and there's definitely more comments than normal, which is interesting because it's well, the video is kind of out of character, you could say for me. So, <clears throat> some people say that's why they like archery. Someone else said whoop de doo. Others are just making fun of me because it's cheesy. I need to narrate documentaries. My American accent's really coming along. I don't get it. I think a lot of people who make comments are pretty witty and pretty funny. And I'm not a very, I'm not very good at jokes. And so I read things literally and, and I just, <laughs> I don't get your guys' jokes. I'm sorry. I'm not that smart. Uh, stay shatterproof. Uh, someone giving us a history lesson on archery. If you didn't make the bow grow the tree, then you're not a real archer. I hope that's sarcastic. Oh, thank you. Someone was super nice. Lots of people are telling like their uh, experience, how they started, how having a shelf on a bow is traditional. That's hilarious. Arguing about what's traditional archery and what's not. I just did a, a script. I just played a script to kind of poke a little fun at, at super primitive traditionalist who um, who get caught up in the particulars. I don't need a science project to have fun. Sticks and strings. Training wheels are for kids. 
you know? I actually get that one because someone told me about that. Uh, other people saying what they're interested in. When you get it, you get it. If you don't, oh well. Nice short. Yes, it's all true. Okay. Nobody, nobody knew that this was not my script. And then other people are just super nice agreeing with, uh, agreeing with a script. I'll probably do a follow-up YouTube short as well because my shorts audience isn't the same as you guys, this full form audience. And we'll see, um, we'll, we'll let them know that, that we were playing a little game. All right, have a great day, guys. See you on the next video.